we are going to see relatively dry conditions. So if you have some of those plans later on this afternoon, we should be good to go. For folks who are squeezing out maybe the last day of summer vacation, you're in luck. It's going to be a nice day out there, albeit hot. As we look here at the radar, we're looking mostly dry. We are tracking a few of those isolated showers making the way in from south to north. It could be just hugging the coastline out there in Volusia County, but as of now, everything on land is looking nice and dry. Not only are we dry, but we're muggy and pretty warm across the area. Current conditions were in the upper 70s to low 80s at this hour. 78 in Sanford, 80 in Cocoa Beach, 78 up in Daytona Beach. Future feels like temperatures. Although we are going to see the lack of rain, it's still not going to be feeling as hot as yesterday. The main reason is we are tracking some drier air that's going to dry us out, limiting that rain chance, but it's also going to be lowering our humidity. So the feels like, although it's going to be a very hot day, it won't be feeling like 105 to 110. As you can see here, the future feels like still hovering for the most part in the upper 90s, maybe even hitting 100, 102. But overall, it's not going to be across the board that we're seeing those 105s for this afternoon. So again, What's the difference between feeling like 97 and 100? Not much, but we'll take whatever we can get, right? As we look here, we're pinpointing the tropics, still tracking this one area. This morning, it has been increased to a 40% chance of it becoming our next named system. Still worth watching as it still sits out there a few hundred miles out from the Leeward Islands. And then we're tracking, of course, Tropical Storm Franklin, which could potentially become our first hurricane of the season, possibly later today or early tomorrow morning as it makes its way, makes landfall once again over across central Mexico. And this weak wave right here, we're not anticipating it becoming anything, but it will be a player in our weather forecast. Not today, not as much tomorrow, but by the time Friday and the weekend roll around, that ridge of high pressure will drag in again, added moisture later on. For today, inland afternoon storms will be the main story with only a slight 20 to 30 percent. Where you live by by 4 p.m. today, it is going to be hot, no doubt about that. Mid to low 90s across the area, maybe the upper 80s along the coastline. If you are heading out to the beach, we still have a low to a moderate risk of rip currents. Clouds and rain forecast again, even though we are talking a low chance of rain, that still doesn't eliminate the rain completely from our forecast. You can see a few pop-up showers by 1 o'clock, just in time for your evening commute, about 5, 6 o'clock along the I-4 corridor in some in Orange County, we could be tracking some isolated showers, maybe a possible thunderstorm at best. But most of the activity should be shifting and diminishing towards the west and dying down by the time the sun sets after about 8 o'clock. Now let's check on here your hour by hour forecast. Your forecast brought to you by Del Air Heating and Air Conditioning. Mid 90s for today by 4 p.m. Rain covered at 30%. Again, we will see some storms possible from I-4 out towards the west. Later on tonight, it will take some energy to finally cool us down to about 80 degrees by 11 p.m. Overnight lows that will be in the mid to upper 70s. Now let's roll out here in your next seven days. And again, a little shift in that weather pattern. Dry today, transition day Thursday. Better chance of rain as that weak wave moves into the area, dragging in some kind of tropical moisture from Friday, Saturday and into Sunday. But across the board, you can see highs pretty steady in the mid to low 90s. 